Hello, in this video lesson I'm going to show you how to share your shots by presenting three separate shots with a similar look as a triptych. So to create our triptych image with three shots on one page, I'm going to use the print module by clicking here. So here we are in the print module, and one place to start is to go to the template browser. If you scroll down to the bottom there, you'll see a collection of cells that are called triptych, and that's three cells in one page. So if we click to select that, it automatically places the first selected image into the top cell. You can then shift click to select a range of photographs and it will drop them in automatically like so. This is a very quick way to work but it's quite limited because if you want to change the order of the photographs let's try and drag them around like so you'll get a rude message saying you cannot reorder the photos using this option. You could shift click on different photographs to add different shots to the cells. You can command or control click to deselect an unwanted image and then command clicking on another or control clicking on a PC to add a different shot, but it's still not a very friendly or easy way to reorder the images in your triptych. So what we're going to do is use the custom package option in the layout style to then take more control over our triptych. Before I start adding cells, I'm just going to go down to page setup and change it from portrait to landscape orientation so it will suit the layout of my triptych more effectively. And then we can go to the cells option. Now because these are square shaped images, I want a square shaped cell. And I've actually created one earlier on by clicking here. You can see I've got a 4x4, but I'll just show you how I created that. If you go down to here and go to edit, you can type in a precise value. In fact, let's create a new one at 3x3 three three inches. Click add, and that will appear to this option here. So I'm just going to click and hit backspace to delete this unwanted cell, and I'm going to move this one into position like so. It's well worth going to rulers, guides and grids and turning on the grid snap and if we set it to snap to grid you can get the cells to align fairly effectively to the grid in the background. We've also got the guides all turned on so we can see rulers, page bleed and the grid itself of course. Let's go back to cells and let's click here to add another 3x3. Three three. If we click and drag now it's going to snap to the grid like so. And once again let's add another one and we can then start to get them in position so they're a little bit more balanced on the screen. So we've got an equal amount of squares between each cell. You can increase the size of course by clicking and dragging on a cell, like so. And you can see we've now gone to 3.25 by 3.25 inches. And we can do the same with this one here, just to fill our page more effectively. And again with this one. And just click and drag to make sure we've got the same space between each cell and between the edge of the page as well. Now we can click on a specific image down here and drag it to fill whatever cell we fancy. Let's go for this one here and put our abstract photographs into these cells to create our triptych effect. And if you don't like the way they're ordered, you can simply drag a new shot into a specific image like so. And we're now getting a bit of an echoing theme here with light in the center of the frame. I think I prefer this one here to that one there, so I'm just gonna pop that over like so. And once we've finished with our rulers and guides, we can click here and turn those off for a cleaner looking workspace. Click to deselect the cell. And if we go to page, you can add things such as a new background color, and then pop up to image settings and add an inner stroke to each photograph and you can change the color there to make it stand out more effectively from the rest of the background. And you can tweak the width accordingly. Now although we're creating a triptych in the print module, we're not going to turn it into a hard copy print, we're going to turn it into an image and to do that we can go print to JPEG file. And then we can just pop down to print to file and save it into a specific folder. I'm just going to call this one triptych so we know what it is and I'm going to click save to create a JPEG version in that folder. You can see it's rendering up the page now and we can then pop to library, click on import, browse to the folder you saved the photograph in. You can uncheck everything else to make sure you just bring this shot in. I'm going to add it to the Lightroom catalog without moving it. So let's click import and there's our triptych image. We can go up to the develop module and we can modify this image here to get rid of a lot of the black space. If we go to the crop overlay, untick this option here, we can create a kind of banner image if you like that could be for a web banner or you could use it for your book module for example to add to a particular page in the book to create your own custom layout or header graphic perhaps. Like so, click done when you're happy and there's our triptych image.